Hey friends, I want to say a really quick message before we dive into Mexico coos deer hunting. If you haven't done it yet, enter the giveaway. We just got this in the mail yesterday and it's going straight to one of you guys. So hit pause really quick. You can win this nice spotting scope. Hit pause on this video, go down to the description and the first link you'll see is the giveaway page. All you have to do is enter your name and your email that simple you're entered to win and then you're entered for the rest of the stuff too so hit pause go do that and then come back and watch the mexico coos deer hunt thanks guys I'm wednesday I'm getting one of those january 31st caps. what's that we got the selfie videos going on oh yeah i don't know if you can see him there but that's jeremy rusink you can't see nothing We got Josh here. We got Matt from Minnesota. Good morning. We're all heading down to Mexico for some coos deer hunting. Oh. With my bow, it's happening. The next five days, this is happening. Don't worry, we we've got two rifles right here, so he's good. And then we have Mr. Cutlet. Thank you, sir. Yeehaw. If I had two dozen roses I know that I haven't had Jameson in about two and a half months and when I woke up this morning there was a little fucking thing going on right here and I ain't I don't get it I guess I'm not 25 years old anymore I had the same thing going on yesterday We are just outside of Bisbee, Arizona Fueling up. Last little stretch before we cross into Mexico. And then go find some coos deer. What do you think, Jeremy? I think we're just about crossing in Mexico. Excited. They kill some coos deer. At least look for a few. Maybe a cat. Maybe a have A pig, yeah. Maybe a coat of money. We uh can we bring those back across? I don't think you can bring coat of mondies across. I don't know, you might be able to get a CITES permit later. You ever yeah. seen them down here or in this area? Yeah, we saw several of them last time we were down. But I I mean Come hunt southern Arizona, you'll find one. I think it's a sign. Feeling lucky? This is giant above you there. So we're bringing it over to kill. A whole freaking truckload of them. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. And left there to rot all the weeds that they grew. I'll never end. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate, while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath. What a fool state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck. God only knows. So we're crossing the border here in Naco, Arizona. No? They're x-raying our truck right across the border here in Mexico. We've already got our guns checked across. Next step's just to let them check things out and 
We're headed south, look for some deer. Head to the ranch. Us yes. Oh, look at him. He's fucking in, in the old Tacoma. Those things right there, dude, are tough to beat for a hunting rig. As long as you put coilovers on the front. Oh, that's fact. Fucking seen a lot of guys. Ready for this? Oh, yes, sir. Let me know when you start filming because I just want to tell my wife, we made it, baby. We threw and we good. And you are okay. You don't have to go in at 4 30 a.m. and run the show. We're good. We're driving through Mexico and. Yep. What we good. Do right now? Well, they drove this fing. Whoops. I'm going to try not to do that on film, but we drove this Mercedes Sprinter right beside the truck and they uh, x rayed our vehicle with a moving vehicle. That was what just happened right back there, checking in some guns. I asked the gentleman in front of us if they had mountain lions where we're going, and he said, Yeah, do you want to kill one? My answer was, hell yes, I want to kill one. So I guess we're going to go kill some coos deer and a mountain lion. Or five. Does alto mean go or stop? That means go. I'll show you right here. Suggestions. Yeah. See? It's a California rolling stop. You just... You just signs. Yes, sir. Stop then you, then you got the old there. Thunderbird There's right here with the 5.0 in it. Sign. Yep. All clear. Time to hit south. We are ready. Good to go. They sell those now in rolls, dude. Yeah. They have that shit prefab like that. I saw it at Home Depot. I'm serious. You yeah. just roll it. I think uh, we should go there and yeah. as soon as we get in the ranch, pick up the, the gear, start hunting. Okay. We can I'm send the cook and with, with the owner. Sunla, all the way to the camp, and we can stay there. Hunt. <laughs> Salud. So, we're about five hours in, and uh, just made it to the. Where, do we, where are we right now? We're out on the main road waiting for the rancher. Right? In Mexico. In Mexico. Apparently, the first ranch is Lazo Catilla. I like that. Yeah. Oh, Cotillo's good. It's got adjustable coilovers on it. I just want to go out and look for some animals. Well, we should get there about the time we're waking up. <laughs> we own a dirt road. Finally off the pavement. A la verga. Everything is a la verga at the end. Josh already glassed up 17 bucks and I only found one. It was a doe, there's, and I ain't gonna say shit because you guys would have made fun of me. There's a doe in the front seat. He's more interested in. <laughs> there you I'm go. Just, I'm curious how good the food's gonna be. I love Mexican food. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
just love to eat. Are you talking about the food? Better be damn good. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, or dessert? I, because I don't even know what Mexican dessert is. Well, you can find out. Churros. You can find out, brother. The breakfast will be bomb. I guarantee we're going to get some really good breakfast. Some huevos rancheros, probably. And then for dinner, we'll probably get some steak. She might too. And then for dessert, that's where you have to go exploring. What's traditional? What's a traditional you know, Mexican dessert? Empanadas. Ah, uh, okay. Like a pie. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're good at this translating stuff. <laughs> Still, I can. Long travel day. We just made it to the ranch. Well, we've been on the ranch for a while. We just made it to the ranch house. But we're gonna throw a couple things off the truck and then. We're gonna go start glassing right away. See if we can find some deer. It's good looking stuff. We think every one of them looks good enough for me. You shoot that one now? Possibly. <laughs> to the left or the right? Cool back. Cool back. Sure did. Definitely cool. Yeah. I like him. With. With this uh, weight, <laughs> right? This is what we're looking for combined. Yeah. This mixed with this. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. I mean, that's heavy. We are at the ranch. The boys are getting their glass in gear. It's time to find some coos deer. Hopefully. It's a good looking country. Big country. Oaks, junipers, good grass. Ocotillos. Recipe looks good. That's First deer. impression. I like it. I think we're gonna find a good buck or two here. Hopefully about eight. I think you boys need to be on that next point over there. January 31st. We've been traveling all day. We made it to the ranch, unloaded a few things, and now we are hiking to the glass and hill. So, hopefully, we can locate some deer figure out what country we want to be at in the morning. I mean, got here perfect time, so. Deer should be moving anytime. Now we saw two does driving up here. So we've been glassing for like 10 minutes. We've got like a 80 inch broken buck over here. And Josh found a nice buck right over on this next hill. It looks like Jeremy and Matt are going after him. I think Jeremy's gonna try to shoot him. I just saw those guys earlier working their way on another ridge. If I can find them again, I'll video them.
what do you think? You don't want to be done right away. <laughs> Maybe not on the first night, man. If he was a little bigger, I'd shoot him right now. Evening one, seven bucks. Fortunately, I was only able to get one of them on video. But we found seven, two possible shooters. Most of them were too far away. But we're gonna be back in this spot first thing in the morning. See if we can relocate them. Yeah, how's the evening? It was good. Saw some whitetail buck deer. That's what I'm talking about. Jeremy uh, got real close to putting one in the truck tonight. If it wasn't for a remoting in our way. That was fun. That it was. was. It was cool. At least we got to run around and check it out a little bit. It was good. Just good seeing bucks is cool. I'm taking that bow tomorrow, boy. I'm gonna try and let you guys walk me in on a whitetail buck deer, and I'm gonna try and shoot him with my stick in my string that was a miss i just whipped the camera face right there bro that sucked we're back at camp got victor holding his meat here it's a big piece of meat for such a small guy got <laughs> 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 fire going here <laughs> Just tell me to get out of there. Yeah, really? It wouldn't have been that bad if it wasn't for Joe. Like, if we would have been out there, like. <clears throat> The weather is what it is. I mean, that's yeah. just muskox hunting. You know, if there oh, were, the weather was fine, right? Now, but we should have had another snow machine. Yeah. Should have had more fuel. Yeah. Should have had guides that had seen the muskox before. We got some coals going over here. Do a little cooking. Got some meat. Hey, did it what today? I don't. Yeah, if you this buck right here is this box what we're looking for. Like that. Oh yeah. That's what we need. Four or five of those. That's it, Victor. Just like four of those, that's all we need. Yeah. <laughs> We're hoping. We're hoping. Yeah, that one that we saw tonight looked an awful lot like him, so I'm pretty confident this is off this range. Yes, sir. It's gonna be fun watching these guys lay some of these suckers down. Stack of them over there, too. And then you. You want me to stop doing all this shit so you can get a good picture of me? I'm videoing. So. Um, well, f that's, we got some problems, guys. I've been seeing some sorry shit right now. Uh. 
Yeah. Well, that's bread. You should have got that on the video, bro. You just missed probably, probably the number one clown that's going to go down this weekend. Yeah, what I miss? You just got shot down. Food is delicious. It's all I, it's all I can say right now. <laughs> oh, we were out there Good eating stuff. by the fire, my huh, boy. I mean, it wasn't like this. All right, thanks for watching day one of Coos Deer in Mexico. As you saw, I met up with my good friends Josh Smith, Matt Cutlip, Jeremy Rusink came down from Alaska, and Matt Fries came down from Minnesota. We all rallied in Tucson there, drove down to the border, and met my good friend Victor. Victor had all of our paperwork ready, he had our gun permits, he had everything we needed to cross the border, met us there, and then drove us down to the ranch. Super easy. Can't thank you enough, Victor. That was awesome of you. Um, Victor, Victor sells hunts down in Mexico, so if you're ever interested, let me know, let Victor know. Anybody will be glad to help you out if you're ever interested in hunting in Mexico. Also, if you didn't enter at the beginning of the video, hopefully you uh, go to the description right now, put your name and uh, email in for this. It's free, it's easy, and uh, you could win some cool stuff, including this this spotting scope that Vortex just sent us yesterday. So thanks for watching day one. Day two in Mexico is pretty crazy. So come back tomorrow and watch it and check it out. Thanks for following along guys. See ya.